I think one of the more interesting ones that I take is D and Q, the satinib plus quercetin. Mm. Okay. And so um, tomorrow, in fact, uh, I will take a dose with my wife. And we do this once every two months. We take 50 milligrams of disatinib and 1,000 milligrams of uh, quercetin. And uh, disatinib, uh, for those who don't know, is a uh, drug that's used in the treatment of a certain cancer. And I don't know which one it is. Uh, so, you know, it's past uh, the safety test, at least for a kind of tan cancer uh, in humans. Uh, it's also being tested by uh, James Kirkland at the Mayo Clinic. He's running a whole series of tests on disatinib plus quercetin. And uh, I asked him a couple of years ago, you know, when we would see the results of his work, and he said, oh, five, seven years. And we discussed this a few minutes ago. I don't wait for five to seven year studies. To wait. So we just do it. Um, and uh, yeah, it, the, the target is senescent cells. And, uh, you know, you're keen on measurements. And uh, I have measurements of my senescent cell burden. And it's very, very low. Uh, and it stays down there. And does this make a difference? I don't know, but it doesn't cost me anything to do this. And I really believe that it does work. Uh, certainly the indications are. But the more interesting therapy that I use for disatinib is based on a comment by James Kirkland a couple of years ago at the conference in Copenhagen. And he reported that they were doing a study uh, with sheep where they were giving them a shampoo of disatinib and quercetin. And the hope was that this would extend the wool bearing life of a sheep. Apparently sheep bear good wool for maybe three years and then they're put down as the euphemism goes because the wool quality is, is not so good. And they're hoping that this treatment will get maybe an extra year or two out of the quality of sheep. So uh, I looked around my body for wool and I couldn't find any, but I've got a thinning toupee here. And, uh, you know, it's, there's a little bit that's got color at the back here still. And so for the last, uh, oh, about three months now, I've been using a shampoo of bitisatinib plus quercetin uh, mixed into a, you know, a uh, shampoo that I bought. And uh, I do that a couple of times a week. And who knows what will happen. But I have a friend in London who's been doing this for a year and a half. And there seems to be evidence of new hair growth at the back of her head. Do, do you have have you and her have you guys left it on your head? Do you, or you just use it as a shampoo, wash it off? I'd yeah. imagine you leave it on so that it can permeate the, the skin. I leave it on for five minutes before I rinse it off. And I put it on my eyebrows and you know, all over my head. And these bald areas at the front that used to have hair, I put it there too. How about skin? I mean, I don't know if you've seen the recent paper where senescent cells in skin, if you transplant senescent cells into young skin, it, there was a, an increase in, uh, in the aged phenotype in the young animals. So senescent cells in the skin are potentially bad. So I wonder if D plus Q could, you know, maybe, maybe you're rubbing it on your, on your skin too. Well, on that topic, let me just pull something else up. Um, I've got a couple of tubes here. So this black one, I was part of the beta test for a product called OneSkin, which is a peptide-based skin cream. And the thing that was interesting about it, this is their currently... Uh, version of it. They've got the logo on it, so on. As I say, this this was unmarked. That's a souvenir from the uh, beta test. Uh, so I use one skin on my skin. It's a peptide-based skin cream, and it has the uh, characteristic that the peptide will penetrate the outer dermis and go underneath and kill senescent cells. Mm. Now, I did it for about three months on the beta test. And I used to have 
you know, those age marks, the brown marks that people get, and I had them around here, and they disappeared in those three months. And uh, so I continue to use it, but I actually didn't use it for a period of about six months, and those dark spots did not reappear. So, you know, I continue to use it. They have two or three versions. They have one for the eyes to try and reduce the amount of bagginess. It's a, a more concentrated version of the, of the face cream. 